AMD came through with their promise to release the update for Ryzen's memory support. Plus, AMD released a driver update with a performance increase in Prey, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Originally reported by WCCF Tech, the technical marketing director from Gigabyte, one of AMD's board partners, recently addressed the upcoming BIOS update for Ryzen's memory support in a forum post over on Gigabyte's forums. Matt also addressed a GISA 1006, the newest update from AMD to board manufacturers to integrate into their boards. As usual, I decided to actually head on over to the original post and do some digging. The original was posted on the 3rd and discusses more of what the update will do, but I also found a newer post on a more specific time frame for when we should see the actual BIOS update. First, let's go over the original post. Besides a few gigabyte specific tweaks, he discusses what the update from the Agisa code will provide. He specifically states he has high hopes for it and it will enable 20 plus memory registers. This should mean we'll be seeing more actual plug and play DDR4 sticks. He didn't discuss how high the frequencies can go with the update, but we know it'll be higher than 3200. The second post is great news, as he stated the new beta BIOS will be available next week. Now this doesn't necessarily mean all motherboard manufacturers will be releasing the BIOS next week, but it does at least give us an idea that they all should be coming pretty soon. Next up from PC Gamer, and for those who don't know, Prey was finally released on the 5th. It seems to be a pretty good port, so that's great news for everyone. Not only that, but AMD released the newest Crimson Relive driver pack. It comes with the usual bug fixes, but it also includes up to 4.7% increase in performance with the 580 and Prey. So if you're running an AMD graphics card, make sure to update your GPU. I'll actually have that linked in the description. Free performance is always a nice win for everyone. Lastly, we have a quick update from WCCF Tech that claims AMD will be announcing more news and information on Vega, as well as next generations in architecture, Navi, and a plethora of more topics on the 16th. If anything comes of it, I'll definitely discuss it here, so make sure to subscribe to GamerMeld to keep updated with your news. While that ends the news segment for today, before I go, I wanted to make everyone aware that the GamerMeld Patreon is now live. For those who may be worried, I'll go ahead and say everyone here will still get their videos when they go live. You won't have to pay to see them a day earlier or anything like that. There are some cool rewards and you can contribute for as little as $2 a month. So definitely check that out. I'll have a link to that in the description. So what did you think about today's news? Are you excited for everything AMD? Or are you ready for Nvidia's next card generation or Intel's future CPUs? Either way, I'll keep you covered with Gamer Meld, but let me know what you think in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.